Hello everyone, I'm Thorin or Tranuxus and welcome to the next tutorial. Uh, I hope that this one will be a lot shorter and more enjoyable for you comparing to the to, to my first tutorials. So today we'll be talking about uh, heroes in heroes of the of heroes of might and magic free so as even in the name of the game we can think that heroes are very important so uh, let's start the new game just to show so at the beginning I would love you I would love to talk about um, there we have in normal shadow of ditch we'll have nine cities uh, but I'm playing with the expansion, Horn of the Abyss, so we have 10. Each city has a lot of heroes. 8 heroes are the specialist of might, so more about um, power, uh, more about power upping, buffing uh, the units in fights. And eights are speci specialists in magic, so they want to use magic uh, more effectively. Um, so eight might, eight magic. Same for every other city. Of course, we have also some more, like uh, more specific heroes. So there will be a hero with devil specialist, there is dracon, but it's not the point because I want to talk more in a context of playing uh, multiplayer games. Um, so, almost every hero starts with two other second, uh, secondary skills. This one starts with leadership and archery, this one starts with leadership offense, and wisdom estates but there are some people who starts with only one but in advanced level like this Tazar with armor um, there is uh, uh, one more thing worth to say to be said that uh, every every one of them has a specific class which will be very important in later in this tutorial so for example from castle city uh, we have knights eight knights and eight clerics in the rampart we have rangers druids and that continuing we have demoniacs heretics and beastmasters witches and to the end okay and even in Cove we have Captains and Navigators, but uh, about Cove I don't have enough information. So let's just talk about these nine cities. Um, also, all of them starts with some attack, defense, power of knowledge, which is determined for each class. So, as you can see, every knight starts with Two attack skill, two defense, one power, one knowledge. Every knight has the same. Every cleric starts with 1022, and it will be true for every class. So the monarch starts with 2211, heretics 1121, barbarians with 4011. And it's important, kinda important. Um Okay, so now let's go to the next part. Okay, the next part is maybe a bit too, uh, too fast. So let me first start a game uh, with Inferno, with maybe not Marius, maybe with Ignatius on Gibus Cross, but it doesn't matter. Just want to have any game. Um, so there we have Ignatius with level 1 and every time he gets new level he will get a 1 attack or 1 defense or 1 power or 1 knowledge 
also with every level he will get uh, a chance of uh, upgrading one of his abilities there secondary skills or a getting new one as you will see in a second um what's more with every level this ignatius will have um his specialty with aims will work better but this is not the topic not the specialty of the heroes so just want to say that something will be uh, something will happen with the specialty but not uh, on this video so uh, to get new level we need to get some experience now he, he has only 86 and he needs 1000 of experience to get a level and experience we can get from fighting uh, the monsters on, on the map uh, from the treasure chests and from pandora boxes and from this kind of stuff we can also sacrifice heroes i mean sacrifice some units some artifacts and uh, this is the way how we can get some experience um and now you will see a picture uh, which will say you how much experience do you need to get a level so as you can see to have level one it's even enough to have no experience at all and then 1000 2000 3000 200 and it's the experience in total it's not like we have to get um 8000 8, of, of, of experience from level six to seven no we need to get only 1800 experience okay i think you understood and it's continuing uh, you know further to level 70 something but it's not the k in the multiplayer games and also after uh, we have all secondary uh, all secondary skills at the maximum getting a new level isn't important unless your hero specialty is good okay so now we know uh, what is going on uh, what is going on why why is talking today so hard so we know how to get a new level and we know how much experience we need if for any kind of reason you need to know how much experience you want to get then then as I said at the beginning, um, level up will give me one attack, one defense, one power or one knowledge. But uh, is this pretty random and you have no idea what you will get? Not really. So now let's go there and we can see some numbers and some percents. Uh, let me know if you can see now that. Um, yes, but it's not a good quality. Let's leave it like that. So, of course, I don't have information about Cove, and sorry for that if you like Cove. Um, maybe if you have something like that, then you can send me and maybe I will do an update. But for now, I didn't uh, find anything. Um, so, what does all the numbers here mean? So, as I said at the beginning, every hero is determined by a class. So let me go to the game for a second and you can see that Ignatius is a demoniac. Okay, so demoniac is there and from level 2 to 9, so on the early levels, he has 30% to get one attack skill when he level ups, 30% for one defense, 20 for power, 20 for knowledge. And every class has something different, like a knight has 40% for attack, 40 for defense, and 10-10. Um, is this important? If you will ask me, I will say that it is. Maybe let's have a look at barbarians. Why barbarians are very good? So, at the early levels, they had over 50% to get attack skill. So, it's like five free attack skill in the level 10 because 10 levels half of it is um five and this will be five attack skill 
and with other class like maybe wizard where when we have only 10 percent 10 percent uh, we are more likely to get power and knowledge which i think for main hero in multiplayer isn't the most um, important statistic it is probably for secondary heroes or you know that you the the heroes who are uh, helping on the map or for some kind of spells like armageddon but anyway um, the spell and the attack and defense is the most powerful the most important not power not knowledge knowledge is, i think is the less important because we can get artifact we can go to the uh, to replenish our mana we can double our mana um we can we'll never need all our mana so before the final fight or something we can replenish all of it yes so knowledge is not that important it's easy to get more with artifacts and all we can get we should try to get um, in attack and defense um but more about what's good and what's bad in later just want to say that, that something like that exists and of course in level 10 plus uh, these numbers are kind of you know mm, uh, there is not that, that big difference like 55 percent to 5 percent later it's 30 20 but on early levels it's very helpful okay all right so we were talking about attack defense power knowledge with level ups but what about the secondary skills which are more important i think having a tactic is probably more important than having even five attack skill if i will choose having hero zero zero with basic tactics and going with him to fight I think uh, anything like uh, a monster on the map, not a main hero of other player, but just fighting something on the map like this rocks, of course, anything else. I think tactics is more important and with other secondary skills, I think maybe, maybe they are secondary skills, not primary skills, but it's just a name and they are very important and of course, there must be um, a hero without attack and defense can't win everything. And same, a hero without good secondary skills. Uh, you need to have, you need to be good in primary and secondary to be a true hero. So, of course, with level ups, for what I will use cheats in a second, um so we are getting uh, uh advanced tactics or advanced resistance or something new from level up and what is this something new you have no idea probably this time we got earth magic which is kind of unlikely i would say because uh, later i will say what i uh, what i um, what, where is this word? Not showed. What I, what I uh, have noticed, noticed with level ups. So this time we got resistance and earth magic. We should go after earth magic. And I'm cheater, of course. So uh, after every level up, we have a chance. Let's do one more of getting something what we have to better level like resistance or getting something new if we have all our slots with a secondary skill there we don't have a chance of getting something new of course we have to level up something from what we have after getting a level um if we have everything like this for an expert and also four empty slots that means We'll have to choose between something in basic and something in basic. And then can the strategy begin. When we'll get something stupid. Um, okay. Now, 
Uh, let's go to the picture, which I should prepare earlier. But anyway, this one, no, sorry. I prepared this, okay. So just click and we can see this. Um, from the left, uh, we have the hero class, Knight, Cleric, Ranger, and that continuing. And on the up, we have all secondary skills available on this game. Even diplomacy, not banned. Uh, in general, you know, and only in multiplayer. So, the numbers describes, uh, describes how likely is a hero get one of those. So, as we can see, um, knight is more likely to get estates over fire, over first aid, and this kind of stuff. But he's very likely to get leadership, or navigation, or tactics and which hero class is the best it will be in the end because it's uh, very obvious that if a hero has like 10 in first aid tent it's bad because it's more like uh, it's very likely that with level up he will get first aid which is a very bad secondary skill and if he has uh, something let's say tactics who has tactics on 10 boom overlord uh, a lot of over overlords starts with tactics anyway don't know if there is any but i think it is uh, like damakon who starts with ex uh, expert no with uh, the second offense you know advanced offense so he's very likely to get uh, the tactics. But there is a lot of this and it's hard to see what's really important and what's not. Because of that, I prepared a bit better picture and I have to check if you can see that. Yes, you can, but you cannot see everything. Um, I don't know why. Maybe the picture is too big. Oh, wait a second. Um, all right. Can you see the picture? Uh, for some strange reason, you cannot. Okay, now. So, you should be able to see everything. Yes, you are. Um, so, there are only important secondary skills. Important in my opinion. And it looks kind of different because... Secondary skills we have on the left and uh, hero classes on the right. No, it's not on the right, but okay, let's call this on the right. So, which secondary skills, in my opinion, are useful and worth it, uh, worth to take? Um, now let's go to the game for a second, just to see we have eight space, eight slots for secondary skills, eight. We cannot have nine, 10, seven. We need to think like we have eight. Uh, there is nothing to change this. And once we'll get something, we cannot remove it from our hero. I think it's very important to say that. Let's go to, the, our, to our picture and, in my opinion, perfect hero for any game because of course you need to know that in single player you don't uh, really need air magic probably it's better to have a water magic and some kind of stuff like that maybe if a map is uh, if there is a lot of water then navigation is good and if there is a lot of bad terrain then uh, pathfinding but in general for a multiplayer game, if I will have to choose at the beginning eight of secondary skills, no matter what it is, I don't know, then I will go with first offense, then armor, and the tiered tactics. So the three things from the might, okay? Then I will go with wisdom, with earth magic, and with air magic. 
So now we have three there and three there. Um, and this was a magic part. The last is the adventure, the map part, which from which I will choose logistics. And this is in total seven secondary skills. We have still one room and the room is for the rest of our, for all the rest, because it depends on the situation. So archery will be good if our army contains a lot of archers, so maybe Titan, Cyclops' power stack, leadership if uh, we have no other choice, and if our army has a lot of units from other cities. But leadership isn't the best because it's very easy with artifacts or with the objects on map to get more morale. Luck? Luck is even worse than leadership with the same reasons. We can easily get some luck from artifacts and it's not necessary. And you can never choose your luck. It's too random. Resistance is good because it can help you um, in the way of blocking, uh, for example, mass slow, and one of your units will be quick anyway. You can act first, I mean, in the combat against, um, in the final fight probably, okay? Against other player. Um, but resistance isn't the best also because one orb of inhibition and it do nothing or anything else. Like it cannot work because it's only some protons. So this is the the bad, bad side of resistance. But it can be very helpful. You can block implosion or something. Okay, next is fire magic, which I think I will choose if I will have to choose something in blind. Fire magic will allow you to do mass cures. Maybe that's not the best, but mass berserk. You can berserk your opponent, your uh, your opponent's creature creatures, and this spell is something what will it's something what can open a new horizon for you. Don't know if in English this is uh, very correct, very correct, yes. But with mass berserk, you can fight fights which you are not able to without it. And of course, a better Armageddon, um, better Sacrifice, which isn't very popular, but I think it's very powerful spell. Mm. Mass Cures and better Blind, so the unit will not retaliate. But Fire Magic is very good. Water Magic also, because of Clone. Uh, water magic because of clone probably you can clone then level seven six and five i think five you can normally and six and seven will come with a water level a water magic level um so probably your power stack is level six or seven like wyverns angels anything and then you can clone them so that's like getting one more so that's very powerful. Uh, also, Mass Bless in the early game is very powerful. Uh, mass Prayer in the final fight can be very handy. And I don't see more use of water, but probably there is some. And Pathfinding uh, will be very will be great choice if the map contains a lot of bad terrains like snow, like uh, the sand, like a swamp, but in other, in other, in other hand, on the other, on the other hand, uh, but finding can be replaced. If you will cast mass fly, but finding doesn't matter. If you will have angel wings, if you will have wafer boots only in uh, Horn of the Abyss, if you will have the units from the native terrain, not the others. And if you will use roads, there are a lot of things uh, which can replace pathfinding really. You can use a secondary hero to, to carry your army, 
But in the end, pathfinding is not the worst choice. If you will compare this to ballistics or to eagle eye, it's not bad. And the last one, scouting. Why scouting? I think scouting may be not in the shadow of ditch, but in Hornet Abyss, when you can see up to 10 squares. So let's go to the game for a second. Mm -hmm. um, so we are there, yes? Let's move here. Uh, normally, a hero can scout up to 5 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This and this up, this left, this right. With mass scouting in the normal, in the normal version, you can scout three more in every direction. So there is five, six, seven, eight. So you can see a bit more as I'm moving my mouse. But in the Horn of the Abyss, you can scout up to ten in total. So two times more in the left, in the up, in the in the down and in the right. So this is a huge change, a huge different difference. And this can let you see a Dragon Utopia, uh, your opponent Ilier, a uh, good Pandora box, good artifact, anything. And it's very likely that in the end you will not move your scout first and you will move your main hero. Because your main hero will wait with quick unit, will have boots of speed, will have logistics. So if you will not find a city, then the first hero who will move will be your main. So that's why scouting, in my opinion, is not that worst choice in the end at all. Okay, but it's not the end. Um, so we'll go back about the numbers. In, the, in, in a second, but there is one more thing to be said. Um, so let's go to the game, let's go back to the game, and there we have level 3 Ignatius. It's not the best. Uh, we got a weird uh, earth magic on level 2. It's very unlikely that it will happen. So let's restart the game and Let's level up our Ignatius. Okay, that's a lot better. We got armor. Okay, fine. Let's go with armor. Let's go to the new level. We got wisdom, which is very unlikely, but it can happen. Same as with the earth magic in a, sec a second ago. But now, look, we got a uh, magic... Uh, Magic, just we got a magic. This time it was fire. Why we got fire? Uh, maybe we can go back to the picture and there are spells. We are demon, demon, demoniac, and earth magic we have three, for air magic we have two, for fire four, and for water, for water one. So the most likely is fire magic that's why demons as the hero class is not the best because we are more likely to get fire over earth and over air magic so um can we now see the game please yes we can we got fire what we'll do in the normal game i would say that we'll skip fire and go with tactics um uh, and we'll see, no, next level is not very interesting, and level 6. On level 6 we should get wisdom, but because uh, wisdom was offered to us in level 3 or 4, and uh, now we didn't got it. Uh, it's very unlikely. The most unlikely I noticed, noticed is that on level 4 you are getting one of... Uh, one of the magics, so fire, earth, water, and air magic. On level 6, 12, 18, uh, you should get wisdom. It's very likely, and I think it's not a good choice to get wisdom on level 6 or, or even on level 12, because later on we'll get wisdom anyway, 
And to be honest, having Earth book, Fire book, we don't have to have wisdom to use all the spells. Wisdom is only for spells which we want to learn for uh, forever. You have to, to have the spells forever. Um, and once we have book, you can use it even uh, use the resurrection without wisdom. Okay, let's see what we'll get on new level. Uh, level number 8 will be a level with uh, magic. Yes, but again, uh, we are offered a fire magic. So that's why demoniacs are not good. All the time we had no chance to get air magic. And mass slow, I think it's the best spell in the game. And for almost all fights, mass slow is useful. So let's now go and do it a bit quicker. There I have a map. It's not my map, but I checked, changed this a bit for the video, to use this in the video. Um, so what kind of city should we start with? Inferno again? I mean we could, but let's do something else. Let's do maybe Stronghold and let's start with Tyraxor. So this is the Tyraxor and the power of barbarians if I remember correctly. So there I have my map prepared and I will get a uh, level 20 around from this. So without waiting, let's go and see. Um, so we started with two other secondary skills, which are very important and very useful. So um, if we we'll get nothing useful, uh, then we can level up this and on, very, uh, and on level 6 we should get wisdom and then with all the level ups we should get something good. But because ballistics is not something what I'm looking for, resistance to and air magic. Here comes air magic because I think I said this already that in level 4 you're getting air magic. Can you see what I want to let you see? Yes. So barbarians are very good because they have 3 in earth in air and two in fire. So this time we got air magic. It's not the best, not, but not the worst. So let's go with air magic. And let's try to level six wisdom, as I told you. Logistics, uh, leadership, not really. And level 10, it's close to level 12. And wisdom comes again. And armor, yes. Fire, we could go for fire, but we don't have earth magic. And fire again, leadership or archery, it will depend on the situation, but let's go with archery maybe. And the last one, earth magic, okay, it's, I noticed that it's very likely that on level 21 we are getting a uh, when it's basic against basic, it's very likely that we are getting one of the magic tools. But having earth magic in the last, then all the fights we had to do without mass slow. It will be hard, to be honest. Let's maybe do one more generation. And let's see. Uh, once again. So... On level 4 we could, we should get this air magic or something else, but I can tell you that there is 100% that if not on level 3, then on level 4 we are getting magic. And this time it was a bit quicker, but anyway, we will get this easier or sooner in level 10, uh, in level, sorry, and level 12. Here comes wisdom. Um, and yeah, crap decision. We didn't get anything good. Now comes earth magic. Good that we have at least that one. Navigation, armor. Not the worst. We have artillery. We could have something better like 
Uh, the artillery is the something, uh, we have all seven good things. We need only like, you know, the eight which we are choosing from all the options available for us. Okay, so now about primary skills. Look, that barbarian is very good. Why? We started with 4011. From all the levels, we got um, 9 attack, 5 defense, 3 power, 3 knowledge. So we are better in might than in magic, which we are which we want with what we are looking for and we are better, better in attack than defense so the perfect scenario now let's maybe use a crab hero who will be not random um it can be from one of the magic heroes let's go with ain and uh, just uh ain not like i don't like her or anything but a good example because it's wizard and wizards are getting weird stuff. So maybe you will tell you, me, maybe you will say that hey, wizards are good because you will of course get earth magic and all magics. It's very likely for them to get magic. They are good. Yes and no. Uh, because in our main hero we need also tactics, offense, armor, logistics and what about that kind of stuff what then so let's see yeah fire magic i don't like that and look we are now level 5 with tyraxor we'll get wisdom on level 6 with her we have wisdom already and we were lucky her magic fine but it's very risky that yes at some point we'll get something stupid Okay, water, if nothing else, then water and fire, but where? Okay, earth magic. So we have all magics, we have armor, estates, and what about others? Uh, what about having tactics, offense, logistics, and look at this crap statistics. Um, I don't remember. But I think we started with 0032. So we got only 4 attack, only 2 defense, and 6 power and 7 knowledge. We d well, it's not what we are looking for, really. It's not what we are looking for. We need more attack, more defense. And this will come with artifacts, and we don't need more than 10. Sure, we'll have even more with artifacts. So I want more attack and defense. So it's very bad. Maybe you will say that we had bad luck. Oh, I could just... Uh, I could just restart. But let's do that instead. And maybe we had bad luck. Okay, let's go again. And air magic, fine. Maybe I can do double click. I think I can. And we are not offered anything good, yes. All the time we got only air magic. Now what? Maybe mysticism, I don't know. Earth magic, fine. Um, archery, I think if nothing else, then better having archery than something bad. Leadership or lucky? Okay, let's try this. Okay, offense. This time is a bit better or not? I don't know. We have our armor, offense. But mysticism, of course, solar and archery. Where is our tactics? Where is our logistics? And look at our crap primary skills. We have only three attack skill, only four defense, stupid nine power and nine knowledge. It's not what we are looking for. So after this, when I had to record this again, I think. Uh, we can end this part and the next one will be going to the primary skills and deciding which uh, which hero class, because it was a wizard, which hero class is the best. Alright, uh, you can see that what I want to make you see. Okay.
So about primary skills, which hero class will be the best? So there you can see uh, white numbers. It's like from 10% to 15%. Uh, and the green one are from 20 to 25 to 30. And uh, the, the yellow one are from 35, 40, 45 there. And the rest, the very high, are red. The remaining 50, 55, 60. Okay, so we should, uh, of course, everyone uh, in total has 100%. It's just a difference between which if we'll get more attack or power of knowledge and this kind of stuff. So we should ask ourselves a question. Which statistic is more the most useful for us? And I will say attack. Attack is the best because uh, almost all the time we are attacking. We are shooting with our archers. We are taking off the retaliations with one stack, which is going to die anyway. And then we want to do as much damage as we can to finish the stack uh, in the fight. Maybe in the final fight, defense is also very important, but uh, the main tactics, what you want to do, is to get the speed advantage over your opponent, cast mass haste and attack. Because if you will attack first, then less units will retaliate to you. So you will lose less, and it's very simply mathematic. If you will attack first, then, you know, even in real life, yeah, of course. Um, if there is, if there are some street fighters, would you like to attack first or would you like to attack second? I think it's very easy and clear. And in all fights against monsters, probably attack is better. Maybe against archers, which you cannot um, arrive in first round. Maybe then it's better to have some defense. Anyway. In like 99% of situations, attack skill is the best. And there we can see only one guy, Barbarian. 55% of getting attack per level. In levels 2 to 9, of course. And his defense is also very high, 35%. And he is very unlikely to get power and knowledge, which is very fine for me because this we can get from School of Magics, we, this we can get from uh, artifacts and it's not like we need like 50 power not really five and some other artifacts to duration and we have enough long slow if not we can cast slow uh, uh, one more time okay i think you understood so barbarian is very good because of that attack skill but also we need as much defense as we can. So if there will be a lot of attack, but a very few defense, then it's also not good. So now let's see. Is a knight a good hero? <coughs> I think it is. I think it is really a good hero. If we'll see only the primary skills, then it's a very good hero, but then you need to know that there are also secondary hero, uh, secondary um, skills, and you will see why knight isn't that bad in the end. Ranger, I think, not the worst, but uh, we are more likely to get defense over attack, which I don't prefer, and you shouldn't. Of course, I'm not even talking about the magic heroes which are cleric, druids, wizards, because you can see that there is like 20% of attack skill. Come on, what it is? And we'll get only power and knowledge. We don't need it. It's not an Armageddon game. Not really, not in multiplayer. So, only might heroes, but uh, of what at city, what city has the best might hero? So I think Knight is better than uh, Ranger uh, in the terms of primary skills. Alchemist, it's a joke. Demoniac, it's a joke. Yes, 
Yes, I'm saying this. That night, it's a joke. And Overlord, here comes Overlord. It's not bad at all. He has 48% for attack, 35 for defense, some more in power, and the 5% comes from defense, comparing to a knight. So he has less chance of defense, but more chance in power, which is, I think, for me, 100% okay. So Overlord is a good hero too. Barbarian, there is no word to describe how good it is. And Beastmaster, uh, same, 90% in attack and defense in total, but he's a lot more likely to get defense over attack, and I think that makes him not the best. If there will be 60% of attack and 30 on defense, I will then say that Beastmaster is better. And the last one is Planeswalker, whatever that means. And um, he is like, I don't know. This is very weird because we are good in attack, kinda good in defense and some better in power and knowledge, like if we'll have to do something with that anyway. So, I think that Knight, Ranger, Overlord, Barbarian, Beastmaster, Be uh, Beastmaster Planeswalker are worth to play, so just avoid Alchemist, Demoniac, Death Knights, in the terms of primary skills. And about the level 10 plus, it's almost the same for everyone. Look, the Might Hero has 30, 30, 20, 20, so I will be saying 3, 3, 2, 2. Dru uh, not Druid, Ranger, 3, 3, 2, 2. Alchemist, 3, 3, 2, 2. And Demoniac, oh, Demoniac even has less. 2, 2, 1, 3, 3. Wow. That even makes Demoniac a lot worse. That night, everything is the same. Um, Overlord, yes, 3, 3, 2, 2. Barbarian, Barbarian in later, also, 3, 3, 2, 2. Uh, Beastmaster, 3, 3, 2, 2. Saints Worker, 3, 3, 2, 2. Not talking about mage heroes because look, 10%, it's not what I'm looking for really. Magic heroes as a main hero in multiplayer, no, please, no. <coughs> okay, so that's all. I will, if I will have to choose the best, for me it's Barbarian. Later, I will choose even Overlord, even if he has this some more of power, because defense, 40%, then I will choose Planeswalker, because attack skill, a lot more necessary, then I don't know really. The Beastmaster and Ranger and Knight, I think, are in the same place. And I don't know why I chose Overlord over Knight, but because probably I was thinking about secondary skills too. So there you can, you can see that Barbarian and Beastmaster, uh, the top one, and the rest of the guys in top two. And of course the, the rest of the shit, I uh, don't even look at that. Okay, now we are going to... I don't know where, when I finished my talking because I clicked uh, too fast. Uh, anyway, can you see that? Yes, you can. Um, can you see that now, please? Yes, you can. Okay, this will be easier to, to see anything. Um, so this is a secondary skills part. And trying to choose the best, uh, the best hero class. So there is Cleric. Let's even don't look at the maid, magic heroes. If you want, of course, you can pause or something and see what it looks, uh, how it looks like for the magic heroes. So, knight is seven in offense, which is good. I think I don't know how should I make it because if I will say every, if I'll be talking too long for every class, then it will be boring. And I don't know if adding the important things and having a total number in below uh, wasn't be, won't be the best. So I will stop the recording now, do that.
and we'll see each other in a second. Um, okay, so the last part is with secondary skills. Um, I'm recording this again, this part, because uh, it was longer than one hour and then I will have to use some programs and couldn't use the YouTuber uh, video or something. Uh, so uh, it will be better to record this again and to be honest, this could be like 20 minutes movie, but I like talking when I'm going to the um, knowledge things, then I like to talk like four hours. So this time, let's do it a bit quicker. Um, so what is this all and seven best? All means uh, the total of the numbers here. And seven best is from Offense Armor Tactics, Wisdom Earth Air. Uh, logistics. So we can see that every might hero has better chance than magic hero in every city. And what's more important, the biggest chance is in demon, in demoniac class of getting the things from there, 40. And then we have overlords, barbarians, and uh, we have also Planeswalkers, Alchemists, even. Um, we have also Beastmasters and uh, Knights, Rangers, and Dead Knights, probably. But it's kind of close. I think I, if around 35 to 40, it's almost the same. And we need to remember who was bad in the primary skills. So, uh, the Clary, uh, the Knight and Ranger, yes, they are bad in uh, secondary skills, so goodbye, I would say. Alchemists are going to get something stupid uh, from level ups in primary skills, so also goodbye. Demoniacs, no, I don't know. They are bad in primary, then they are coming, they are, th th then welcome, we are top one in secondary skills. What is that? I don't know. Um, so, the best looks uh, for overlords, for barbarians, and for beastmasters, and why not say for planeswalker also. So this four is top uh, best um, uh, hero classes. Which is the best? I don't know. Uh, overlord is very interesting because it's not only about the total in seven best and in all, uh, but also need to know that very important is to get earth magic in level 4. As you remember, level 4, level 8, we should get the, the school of magic. And level 6, 12, 18, the wisdom. So on level 4, we want earth magic, really. We want mass slow very soon. So for earth magic, he has 3 points for air 1, for fire 2. And it's very good. because. Uh, we'll get one of those four schools. No water, no chance for water, and the highest chance is for earth. 50% because six out of three out of total six. And barbarians are very good too, because if not earth, then air, air, magic is very high too. And same for beast monsters because three, one, zero, two. So the same but they are getting water, they are getting fire. Um, from Plains Worker, there is a lot more of random, uh, random factor, but anyway, they are not bad. Um, so I will choose one of them: Overlord, Barbarian, Beastmaster, Plains Worker. I will choose one of them. They are the best, and don't need to say that one of them is better. I, I think don't need to. And about the secondary skills, the specific hero starts with, it's also very important because having tactics in the beginning will be better than having armor or having logistics. Maybe logistic is good, but uh, tactics is very good at the beginning, logistic is very good. So then it comes as a preference and just what we'll have in the tavern. Um, the last thing is that uh, we need to think uh, in that way, every hero starts with some secondary skills. Like a Tyraxor will have this offense, 
So 10, 10 chance of offense. We have it already in the hero. Same with tactics. We have 8. But we have this in, in, already in the hero. So we'll not get it from level ups. And this may be changed. That, that, that the numbers in the end. Because from uh, Overlord maybe we'll choose Gunnar. So logistics and tactics. We'll have to remove 10 and 8. Then we have removed 10 and 8. But anyway, they are very good heroes and we shouldn't forget about that. Um, uh, what else can I say? If you like this, uh, please give me something uh, like, please give me something. It sounds very bad. I'm recording this again and uh, the first time I say this in very a lot better way. So if you like my work, my job, because it cost me some time, to prepare all of that. Uh, anyway, I learned something for myself. I got a new knowledge I can use in games. Mm, but anyway, it will be very good for me. It will make me happy if I will see that you like my work and it makes sense that uh, that I'm recording this and you know what I mean. So if you have any suggestions, then comment and maybe I did some mistakes and comment too. And uh, thanks really for watching this. If you survive to the end, that means uh, I did a good job there. Even if this could be like in 10 minutes, if something faster will record this, I don't care because I I did this as, as good as I could. I could do this faster, but then I will probably forgot about some informations and maybe this was useful for you. I don't want to record this again if this will be too long, so thanks for watching. And have a nice day, have a good time, be happy, goodbye.